May 29th marks the International Day of Peacekeepers, first declared by the United Nations General Assembly in 2002 at the request of the government of Ukraine. The day, May 29th, was chosen to commemorate the first deployment of UN peacekeeping forces under the United Nations Truce Supervision Organization, or UNTSO, to monitor the ceasefire following the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. In the words of the resolution which created the day, the International Day of Peacekeepers is an international day to pay tribute to the men and women who have served and continue to serve in UN peacekeeping operations for their high level of professionalism, dedication, and courage, and to honor the memory of those who have lost their life for the cause of peace. But how exactly do UN peacekeeping operations work? Hey everyone, I'm Noah Zerbe. I'm a professor of global politics at California State Polytechnic University Humboldt. In this video series, I try to explain the concepts and theories behind current events, all in two minutes or less. Since the Security Council authorized the first peacekeeping mission to the Middle East in 1948, more than one million men and women have served in 72 operations around the world. Currently, there are 12 UN peacekeeping operations deploying more than 89,000 soldiers, police, and civilian personnel around the world. Despite this deployment and the common symbolism of the peacekeepers' blue helmets, the United Nations has no standing army. Rather, peacekeeping operations are staffed through voluntary contributions of soldiers and personnel from UN member states. Historically, countries like Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, Ethiopia, Rwanda, and others have provided the bulk of UN peacekeeping soldiers. Peacekeeping operations have been financed through a combination of mandatory member assessments and voluntary contributions, with the bulk of the financing for peacekeeping operations coming from countries like the United States, China, Japan, Germany, the United Kingdom, France, Russia, and others. The mission of UN peacekeeping forces have gradually expanded over time, and I've got a longer video where I explore the evolution of UN peacekeeping operations. I'll link to that video in the description below. But in the simplest terms, peacekeeping operations have evolved from the relatively simple monitoring of existing ceasefires to much, much more complicated operations that involve peace enforcement, reconciliation between conflicting parties, and even national reconstruction and rebuilding. That's it for now. If you're interested in learning more about the UN system, you can check out my United Nations playlist, which I'll link to below. If you found this helpful, click the thumbs up button and subscribe to catch future explainers as I release them. Please leave any questions you have about this video or any suggestions for future explainer topics in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day. Bye.